Hey guys, Toby here, and today I want to show you how to beat Morian, the Stormwing Matriarch. You find her at the Harpy Nest here on the map. So, going straight to the boss fight, she is standing on top of the hill with two adds. You are able to kill the ad on the other side without um, triggering her, but not this one on, on the side you just saw. Then, coming to her abilities, she has those uh, void valleys that she shoots out. But she will channel them a little bit before, so you know when it's coming. Then, she, of course, she has normal melee attacks. Then she has also those voids that she can spawn, those uh, red areas that will explode. And after a certain amount of time, she will go into air and will spawn four adds. I think it's four adds per each player. And also you can see those little other harpies dashing all the time. So you have to dodge those and also have to dodge the abilities from those heads. I try to focus the heads down as fast as possible. But to be honest I did also not run uh, optimal setup. I would not recommend to use mist trends and uh, maybe also an other ultimate like the heart strike to heal up. But yeah, that's uh, the next ability she does, she's spawning those whirling blades. I would recommend to go with bone shield against that, especially since you can spawn a bunch load of skeletons then by blocking that. I think it blocks it. Yeah, and from here on it's more of the same. She's going up, I think it has nothing to do with her health, it's just a time ability that has a certain amount of cooldown and if you are not killing her in that time she will go up again. Yeah, and so my highest priority was always to kill those adds as fast as possible because they will add up and when you have like 8 or 12 of them around it will be almost impossible to kill her. So I think it's a good idea to kill those first. Yeah, and as you can see, when she spawns those world voids, first it's just one big cir circle, and then the small circles start to spawn also around the big one. So try to get as far as possible away from that. Here it got really close for me to die. I, I thought, okay, I have to do a second try, but I managed to kill her. And that was Morian. After you beat her, you will unlock the void ability and also the flawless gems at the, the gem cutting table. And here I'm gonna show you real quick how the void works. You have two charges. It's a st you are stationary while uh, casting that spell. It does 70% uh, magic damage of your spell power and also applies the chaos dot. As always, thanks for watching, please consider like and subscribe and I hope we see each other again.